What up all? Destiny sucks balls here. Upload another video for my buddy here. And I figured I'll just upload this and state my peace of mind. Destiny air codes. Um, you've had them, you've dealt with them, and you're probably all fed up with them. One thing I've noticed is you'll get air codes, whether it be Beetle, Baboon, da da da. A little hint for all you people out there that don't know the creators of Destiny like I do. Air codes are just another way of them stating we're not willing to admit the issue is on our end. We rather make it seem like it's your fault. Let you run around with your head cut off so we don't have to spend the money we're racking in from you like with these Everse trading companies and we can keep it in our pocket. And I'm almost positive people have gotten their code message or status to play online or your internet connection status has changed. Ironically enough, I've dealt with that message. It's kind of hard for your status to play online to change when you're currently still a PlayStation Plus membership. No status to play online has changed if you're a PlayStation Plus membership. And if you can log in to your PS3 and play online on that same PlayStation account that the PS4 says your status has changed or you're having internet issues with, and you can play on the same game of Destiny and log in and all your other games and have no problem. It's not an internet connection issue. It's a Destiny Bungie server issue. But they're not willing to admit that. Now, everybody knows Activision paired with Bungie and creating Destiny. We all know uh, Activision also paired with Treyarch to create COD. What most people don't realize is any game Activision is paired with is going to have horrible support issue and they're going to blame every issue on your console or internet, not their servers. You've probably gotten multiple issues when you played COD, if you played COD, stating you had internet issues opened out of out of ports to find out you get all these ports and go through the hassle of opening them to still have the fucking issues. That's because servers on their end are having the fucking issues, not you. So the next time you get that message, and you call up, flipping out, well, what's the deal? What do I do? How about you respond to them when they tell you it's your end? No. It's your guys' end. Fucking admit to it. Because I just got off the phone with fucking Sony on a day I was having issues on a Tuesday. 40-minute phone call of them running me through troubleshooting, factory resetting my accounts and saying it might be my network issue. At the end of the fucking 40 minute phone call, he willingly admitted that, um, no, sorry, actually we're doing maintenance today. That might be the cause of it, but I couldn't start with that because I get paid to troubleshoot the customer. Instead of just giving him the solution to his problem right off the bat, I don't get paid hourly to do that. If I do that right off the bat, that's my pay that I lose for that hour. So, now you know about Sony's customer support. So, I'm going to be uploading this video to my buddy's channel. Um, and I thank him for that since he's sponsored and I don't really deal with YouTube. But I hope you guys enjoy. Peace out.